Hi YouTube, I'm back again. This is Miss Devious, aka Rihanna May. It looks like I'm gonna be reacting for you the seven levels of high. Um, if you didn't know, I was born and raised in Washington State and we are a weed friendly state. And even before it was weed friendly, they didn't care. So like, it's not a new thing for us. Uh, smoking weed and being high is kind of like a, a staple of growing up. I no longer smoke weed. Um, and then right now, recently, we've got all kinds of drug problems in Seattle and around the area. I'm sure a lot of you do too in your areas. So I don't know what kind of high they're talking about, but let's find out. So there are seven levels of being high that you may experience while smoking. And although no two people will have the exact same experience from weed, this should give you a general idea of what to expect. For level one, we have toasted. You'll be feeling like a warm sourdough roll. Exactly. At this level, you'll still be able to function normally, but you'll just be a little bit more giggly and you'll have a slight mind and body relaxation. This is the optimal level of high if you need to do normal person stuff, but right. you want a slight mood boost. For level two, we have baked. You are officially high, but it's not affecting you too much. At this level, objects start to seem more significant. Yeah, I don't really know how to put it any other way than that, but I mean, lo look at that object. Everything's so amazing. Tell me that doesn't look more significant. Thoughts become more random, but you can kind of wrangle them back in and stop your mind from wandering too far. This is a good socially functional level of high. If you're with people and you don't want shit to get weird, stay around this level. For level three, we have roasted. All mental faculties now require more focus and energy. At this point, your internal monologue starts to get louder. You know how you just heard your own voice in your head reading those words? Well, when you're sober, you think your thoughts quietly, if that makes sense. But when you're roasted, you think your thoughts louder. Also, at this point, sentences are very difficult to form and require expert planning and precision to execute. Next up, we have level four sauteed. Sentences are relics of the past and now requires all of your energy just to form words. This is like the Snoop Dogg track meat smoking blunts back to back high. <laughs> Sentences are relics of the past, and now requires all of your energy just to form words. Wuh. Wuh. That's right. Sound it out, buddy. Wuh. Water. This is the point where you put something in the microwave for five minutes, and you stand there watching your food cook for the entire time. <laughs> this guy is kind of really accurate. Dude, can you turn the fucking microwave off? <laughs> yeah, they really should have like a midnight stoner mode for microwaves. Level five is known as stony baloneyed. This is when paranoia starts to set in. If you're with other people, avoid eye contact. You will get your soul stolen. This is also when you can become hyper analytic of every thought you have and every action you take. Am I walking funny? Is it weird to have the thought that I just had? What about that one? That's kind of why I had to stop smoking weed. <laughs> Or this one. Am I my thoughts? Or am I the thing that is thinking the thoughts? No, I'm me. You're you're just a thought. No, I'm actually you. You you aren't you. It's me. This is also the point when I normally feel like I'm just a little goblin inside my own head watching TV through my eyeballs. At level six, you have the Kush coma. Right before you enter a Kush coma, it can feel like your heart is about to beat out of your chest. At this stage, it's very common to experience weed paralysis, where you just kind of get so high that like you're you're stuck or you're you're frozen. You I actually have a floor. funny little story about this. One time my friend was throwing a party and uh, we went out to the park next to his house to smoke weed, but he said he was gonna take a few extra rips and that he would meet us back at his house in a few minutes, but he ended up getting too high and he just became frozen on that bench for like multiple hours, like a few hours, while the party just continued at his house. He wasn't even there for his own party. At some point he booted back up like a lagging 90s Dell computer and he was good as new. Um, but you know, sometimes you just need like a few hours on a bench alone at night before like you're ready to go back to the social situation so you know keep that in mind and last but not least is number seven the final form of every stoner the most sacred of all highs zooted you will be feeling like a zooted. cryptocurrency man telepathy is now activated as you no longer require mouth noises to communicate this is where you start to experience frame rate drops in your vision your graphics card is overheated you can't even sustain 60 fps at this point this is when you eat a pizza roll and you feel every individual muscle fiber of your esophagus 
expanding and contracting as it travels down your throat. You're way past couch lock. You and the couch are now merged with each other on a molecular level. Where do I end and the couch begins, you ask? The answer is yes. Well, anyways, that's it for today. Uh, if you have any funny stories of like being super high or if you guys use different words for getting high, uh, comment them down below in the comment section. And if you're still here, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, have a good one and please zoot responsibly. Zoot. I love this. This is so different from the other things I've done so far. Um, again, like, you know, the weed friendly stuff is very, we're on the West Coast, so it's all the way down. We're good. Um, I always use the word zooted and people look at me like I've lost my damn mind. So I'm really glad you guys tuned in this time. Um, I do apologize for the delay in release. I dumped a whole bunch of material. So I apologize and thank you for your patience. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.